Hey guys and welcome to a new feature video of Ventus. Today I want to show you a new feature of our director that is now able to remote control other machines. When we now start one of the shows, like our slideshow, as you can see we have an already working show with readily designed content. For example we can queue and take a template and all works just fine. Let us now build a topology with a cluster that the director can remote control. To do so, firstly we need to close the show and look at the topology editor. So we will now create a new topology. To do so, we can open up the topology editor, which is in, on the start screen of the Ventus director. Uh, you can open it up by pressing this button down here and you can see the editor over here. What you see now is the default local topology which is used for all versions up to Ventus 4.3 and which will now be editable through the topology editor. The topology may consist of three types of elements. So the first type is the slot. This is where the show's channel will emit its content. So this is the part where the templates are queued and taken. Over here is the cluster, which has up to two pipes. So the connection between the slot and the cluster will tell the channel where its content will be shown. And in this case, we also have two views, which simply represent the preview windows of our Ventus director. So now to accomplish that the director will render also on the cluster machines, we will have to create a new topology, which we can do by pressing on the button down here, give the new topology a name, for example, wall, and then you can optionally change the type of the topology. So one, so one way to create the cluster topology is to change the type to cluster and there you can see that you already have a almost working cluster topology. So what we will do now is build this topology uh, by scratch so that we can see how it's done. Now I have created a completely empty new topology which we will now fill with the elements that we need for our cluster. So the first thing that we will need is a channel slot since the director must know where to queue and take the templates of the current channel. So we can add one down here with the three buttons. The most left one is a new channel slot. You can give it a new name. Channel 1 for example, give them an ID and click on OK. So for the remoting we still want the local machine to preview our show in the preview and program window. So we also have to add a local cluster which we can do with this button down here which will open up a drop down menu where we can choose local machine. So this is our local cluster. We can now connect the channel slots pipes to the pipes of our cluster. For example, the program to pipe zero and the preview to pipe one. And now we can create the two views for our preview window. So we click on this button down here so that we can connect pipe zero to the view program and the same for the preview. So the next thing would be to create the remote cluster. So we have to create a new cluster. We will call it remote. We have three machines in it. So the pipe mode will automatically stay to, uh, with single and this is a new cluster. Now we can connect the program pipe of our channel slot to the pipe zero of our remote cluster. The last thing to do would be to drag the machines and assign them to the cl remote cluster. So we have three machines in our available machines column, which we can simply drag and drop onto the cluster. So this would be the way to create a new remote cluster that we can control via a local machine. The problem here is now that the remote cluster still has some errors that we must fix. Fortunately, there are easy ways to fix those errors. So the first error was that the group ID is inconsistent. So we have to right click on our cluster, click on configuration, and there we can change the group ID, for example, to one. The second error was that two machines have the same machine ID. So this is the first and the 
third machine. So we can change the machine ID of our third machine to three by right clicking and then click on configuration in the drop down menu and change the machine ID over here. The last error is that the machines use different render setups. So we can again open up the configuration of the whole cluster. Here we can change the machine configurations, audio video configurations and the render setup just like we can in our Ventus configuration. So we can change the render setup to wall 3 times 4 for all machines. So now all errors are fixed and the cluster can run normally. So now we have no errors or warnings left and we can now finally start our show. To see the results we can now open the director slideshow and show the topology editor. And as you can see now, Ventus will try to connect to the Ventus machine services of our remote cluster. So now we can, just like we did before, simply take a template, queue it, and then take it on screen. So as you can see, it is as easy as it can get to create a new topology, to run a show on a completely different topology, without making changes to the content. So this is it about the new topology editor and the remote clustering of the Ventus Director. I hope you enjoyed it a lot and it will help you with your projects. And I will see you in our next videos. So see you then, bye.